I think that's an, a stunning example of how you do this sort of, you take these big stories, but you bring them down to this this personal level. Mm -hmm. Do you, I mean, do you remember when you were interviewing those kids what you were thinking? Uh, well, I always aspire to, to really bring out the humanity of people because I think that the one thing we all have in common is our humanity. Even the people that we don't particularly care for have humanity. Uh, and I'm struck by, you know, I was struck by uh, a young man I interviewed some time ago for a piece on hate that I did while at uh, TPT, a half hour documentary. And he was pretty well known in the S Twin Cities at the time. I can't remember, his first name was David, but he was uh, a neo-Nazi. Mm -hmm. And I went to his home to uh, interview him. And when my crew and I went in, we saw all of these guns all over the place and, and were a little nervous. The cameraman said, I don't know if I want to be here, but I said, let's just be calm. and. Mm -hmm and do what we came here to do. And one of the first things this person told me, even though I knew that he hated me because of who I was, was that he respected my work because uh, he's seen a lot of my work and that I always seem to respect the subjects that appeared in the work. So I was really struck by the fact that a neo-Nazi <laughs> would say something like that to me. But in a way, it was a, it was a complimentary thing because it was true. I aspire to respect everyone and to reveal their humanity, because that's what we all share. That's what we all have in common. 